So, what makes a great data center? Is it as green as it can be? Can it scale? Is it resilient and highly available? And of course, is it cost effective to operate? When Cisco embarked on our most recent data center here in Allen, Texas, we asked all of these questions and more. And as we worked through these questions in the planning and design phases of the build, we found that building the best data center for our business was a series of educated trade-offs. These trade-offs centered around a sound understanding of our business priorities today and 15 to 20 years into the future. Now looking that far into the future is difficult, but we found that some simple design decisions could scale as we grow. Modularity, flexibility, resilience, and agility were all design requirements that we worked against. Given what we do here at Cisco, many of these requirements are well understood and are cornerstones of our data center operations. What was completely new, however, was our goal of making this the greenest data center we've ever built. In planning DC2, we looked across our enterprise to get a broad base of internal inputs. In our Cisco Advanced Services teams, where I function as a technical leader, we were able to partner with Cisco IT and provide input from our customers as well as industry consortia that Cisco supports, like the Green Grid and the Climate Savers Computing Initiative. The partnership we have with Cisco IT allows us to bring in unique points of view from a broad stakeholder group. Throughout our planning phases, we look to strike a balance across priorities. To translate this balance into the actual design, we look for commonalities across the architectural domains. These coordinated commonalities became the real value of this data center's design. To put the design scope into perspective, let's look at a few of the main design attributes of DC2. The first was to achieve world-class energy efficiency from both a facilities and IT perspective. On the facilities or building side of things, we followed the U.S. Green Building Council's Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design, or LEADS, criteria, and we achieved a gold rating. On the IT side, we pushed the envelope of energy management capabilities by designing against our EnergyWise architecture. As part of this design, every rack-based power distribution unit in this data center can be controlled over an IP network. At the next level down, we looked at the physical design attributes and decided upon a free cooling design, also known as air-side economization. This helps us reduce our energy requirements for heat removal and materials needed by reducing the need for chillers in DC2. For the first time ever, we implemented rotary uninterruptible power supplies, or UPSs. These systems work much like a perpetual motion generator and that they supplement the power supplied without the need for a large bank of batteries. We eliminated the raised floor for power and data access, instead running that over the roof. We've implemented higher rack-based densities, which were enabled through better alignment between our facilities and IT design processes. This racking methodology not only enabled us to improve our cooling efficiency, but we believe it will enable us to be more physically flexible and agile as this data center matures. These racks provide for hot air containment right at the rack level. Last but not least, on the physical side, we made sure to implement high efficiency LED lighting. So, let's switch gears to the aspects of the design that were purely IT in nature, but had a major impact on the overall energy efficiency availability and flexibility of this design. What we decided upon was a unified approach to compute, network, and storage architectures that was resource efficient, performance and feature rich, all the while accommodating for the many business functions that Cisco IT supports. Implementing our virtual multi-tenant data center design, Nexus switching for core and storage area networking, along with our unified computing platforms, had a profound effect on the design flexibility of this site. These design attributes, coupled with Cisco IT's cloud-based architecture known as Cities, enable us to achieve superior performance and efficiency all in one design. In measuring the success of DC2, we are projecting some impressive results. We achieved a lead gold rating for the building. We anticipate a power use and effectiveness rating of 1.3. Our compute and storage utilization is at 70% or higher, all within an open floor plan built around our unified computing platform. While DC2 is still just a babe at the time of filming this video, early indications point to a bright future. It was a long road to build the site and many scores of engineers, planners, managers, and specialists were involved. We learned a great deal and we are happy to share it with you as partners on this journey. Thank you.